Hey, we're back, still the same section filming. Um, I just put together nine connections really fast, actually. It surprised me. But there's alternating red, green, blue, and uh, white connections. And so what I'm doing now, where I need a white LED, I just need a positive and negative, so I only take two wires and cut and strip and twist those. The other get twisted together and that becomes a mounting point. If you wanted, you could break into the circuit at that point and then add extra red, green, blue. But in this case, or, well, let's not get too complicated. So I've alternated um, the red, green, blue channels and the white channels. They're on different wires. These are using the blue, green, uh, white, orange, and orange. And the whites are going to use the white, brown, and the brown. So that means from the end of the string over here, I expose that, there's eight wires, and now I got four lines I can control these LEDs. Apologize for the crappy, uh, semi-drunken videos. I'll try and have my drunkenness better next time. But anyway, still drinking and doing good. I just wanted to show you that uh, when you order Cat5, they come with little markings that show the meters. This probably won't show up in the camera too well, but that's 264 meters. And then what I need is LEDs every 2 meters. So 264, there's 262. What I'm doing is just cutting it just past there, lightly scoring the outside. And I go down a bit. I've decided that I need about half a finger's length. So what I'm doing in this case is uh, slicing through the eye in China. I've, I've found a mark which represents that. And just score that lightly and then if you hold and twist here and here you'll end up freeing the insulation. And then you just need to make a small incision. Careful not to cut the wires. And then just pull that off. Bink. Now we've exposed the wires. There's a little piece of um, string to pull the wire. I just hold it tight, cut it, hold it tight, cut it. You can save that for the birds. They like making nests out of that. And in this case, the string, I only need the positive and negative for the uh, white. So I'm taking the brown and the white out. So now we've got this here. Take these two cables, bend them together, bend up with these loops, pull the brown off to the side, and then take this, line them up, and give it a nice even twist. Not too much pressure, but just enough. You can use something like a rod to get the perfect bend. And now we have a hanging place for these strings. So a nail could go into a tree or something. And we're left with this brown loop. So what we do is take that, cut it in half, straighten it out, open it up, bend that tab back a bit. And then find a place that uh, these best fit. And what I do is I give it its first half turn, second, third, fourth, and fifth. We get inserted again. And we start in an X shape. 90 degree, nice 45 for each one. There's one half, second, third, fourth, fifth. So two and a half times around. And then you can take, these are wire strippers that will go to different gauges by adjusting this knob here. I can control the amount of space that will come through there. Right now that's the need thing I need to have it sit through. And because there's a V here, see this is a little diamond shape. I can get that around the wire and then by pressing here, get nice consistent spacing so that the copper is pretty close to each other. Then we just need to continue twisting it. This is where the LED will connect to. So now we've got some nice bare copper wire. We just continue that nice 90 degree twist 
when it gets done the end and tight kind of taper it in so you don't rip your fingers apart working on a drill method that works much better than this but for now I don't have time because it was kind of inconsistent but there we go now we have break in the wire we have a spot for positive and negative an LED and a hoop there for tying it into a tree or something post okay cheers see you soon Next one I'll show is an RGB.